Today in Minecraft, we're trapped on a tiny island with our families. We have to beat challenges and build houses to survive. And the winner's family gets 100 diamond blocks. Well, the loser is stuck on this island forever. And if you don't want to be stuck alone on an island forever, subscribe to our channel right now. Oh, what the heck? What happened? And what happened to the portal? Bro, I don't know, but my head feels kind of funny, and we're in the middle of nowhere. Wait a second, and our families are here. Sunshine and baby Sunny. Melanie and baby Melon. What the heck happened? You don't remember? When we went through that portal, it exploded. Now we're trapped on an abandoned island. Okay, Sunshine, how are we supposed to get out of here? Well, first you need to find some resources so we can survive on this island. Why don't you make some weapons and tools. Gather all of that, and when you come back, we'll give you more instructions. Okay, sounds good. Did you hear that, Melon? Yep. It's time to gather resources, Sonny, because I'm gonna build the most epic base ever. Bro, we don't need a house yet. All we need is weapons, tools, maybe we can survive even if monsters spawn at night. Oh, that's a good point, Sonny. Well, I've already acquired a crafting table. Well, <laughs> once you place it down, I think I'm gonna borrow it. No, you're not allowed. That's the band. No, no borrowing crafting table. Too late. And I've acquired myself a wooden pickaxe. Now I just gotta gather some stone and make some upgrades. Thank you. Dad, get away from my stone! No, I need some of this stuff too, bro. I gotta upgrade my tools. Thank you. Then mind your own! But it's way more fun to steal your resources. Stop it, bro. You're being annoying. All right. Fine, bro. Fine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. I'll remember this, Sonny. And now, guys, I just gotta mine up a few more blocks of stone and keep my eyes out for some food, because I'm about to die after Melon beat me up. Stone pickaxe? Yes. And now I'll acquire myself a stone axe, so I can kill Sonny next time he tries to take my resources. I just wonder if there's any iron in here. Maybe there's a cave system we can find? I don't see anything. Dang it. Yes, I found my way into a cave system underground. The question is, will I find enough resources to make myself some iron armor? Let's craft ourselves a stone pickaxe, a quick furnace, and check it out. There is iron over there and some right here. Let's go. Yo, goats, I found this awesome ravine let's go i've got coal and iron yes give it to me give it to me now yeah this ravine is pretty cool and i think it's flooding because all the ocean is leaking into it so i've probably got to make my way out of here fast wait wait wait! no way no way i found diamonds oh okay i've just got to make an iron pick and mine this up crafting table down furnace acquired and i just need one more piece of iron it's got to be iron around here somewhere Somewhere. Come on. Yo, there's iron down here. Let's go. Melon, you need some iron? Check this out. I got a vein of iron here. Another one there. Another one there. And there. And there. Oh, wait. Up there. Yeah, there's a lot. Well, good for you, Sonny. Do you have any diamonds? That's what I thought. Bro, you found diamonds? Yeah, bro, because I'm the goat. <laughs> and I found a bunch of iron as well. All right. I'll keep my eyes peeled. And when I find some diamonds, I'm going to craft an axe and drive it into your metal. Head. Bro, you ain't ever gonna be capable of such a thing. And now, just gotta wait for this iron. Come on. Yes. Yes. It's time to craft myself an iron pickaxe and gather the diamonds. One diamond, two diamonds, three diamonds, four diamonds, five diamonds, seven diamonds, bro. That was a huge vein. And now, I can craft myself a diamond axe and pickaxe. Let's go. Axe acquired and and pickaxe acquired. Yeah, I didn't find any diamonds, but I have a lot of iron ore. Time to schmelt. Yeah, I gotta gather some more iron. I need some iron armor. Yes, give me all this iron ski. Yes, the iron. Let it flow. And check this out, guys. I'm gonna make myself two buckets of lava. And I may or may not use these to prank Melon. We'll just have to see what our families ask us to do next. Yo, what is this 
ore. What could this be? I just found a god ore. That could be super useful and valuable. Hey, Sonny, check it out. I'm in full iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you're cool? I could do the same thing. Just got to do this and that and this. Oh, that is a mine cart. I don't want that. And this and that. And also, I'm going to get myself one of these boys. Melon, why are you looking at me like that? I'm just saying you have all of that, Sonny, but you still don't got diamonds. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't got this. Ow. Ah, what's wrong with you? That's right. Back off. You're afraid of my power. Bro, I'm actually gonna burn to death. Give me the water. Give me the water. Ah! No way. You were like two blocks from the ocean. But hold on a second, Sonny. I saw something really funky over there. Uh, do you see that, Sonny? What is that thing? Yeah, wait. What? There's another island, and there's something really weird on it. Uh, whatever, dude. I don't really care. I'm just gonna go talk to my family and see what they want me to do next. Yeah, bro, you're right. That's a good idea. We need to find out what our next quest is. Hello, baby melon. What does thy family need? Well, I was really hoping we could get a shelter. It's very hot out here. Can you build a house or something? Um, yep, yeah, I'm right on it. I'll build you a house. Make sure it's very big, too. Uh, to totally can build you a big house. No problem. Yeah, Dad, I want you to build me a house, too. But make sure it's way more bigger, cooler, and more awesome than melons. Oh, yeah. A way bigger and better house than Melons. Got it. That'll be easy. What, Sonny? That's not possible. Yeah, but you know what else is impossible? How are we supposed to build awesome houses? All I have is cobblestone and a tiny bit of wood. Oh, uh, I don't know, Sonny. I don't know. Maybe this weird thing over here can help us. Maybe it's a chest full of blocks. Oh, that would be real nice. Hold on. I'm gonna craft a boat. Yeah, you do that. I'm just gonna swim there, Sonny. Oh, yeah, well, I I'll have a boat so we can stay dry on the way home. What does it say? Creative ink. Only god ore. No more diamonds. Hold on a second, Sonny. Oh, I can get in creative mode and build the most awesome house ever. Way cooler than yours. Luckily, I found a god ore while I was in the mines. No, wait. I want creative. Let me throw it. It's too late. Yes, Sonny, I'm in creative mode. And Melon, so am I. It worked for both of us. Why did it work for you? You didn't even throw it in. Ah, oh, feels good, man. And now it's time for me to build a bigger, better, and more awesome house than yours. We'll see about that one, Sonny. I'm going to build the most awesome house there ever was. Oh, Melon, you think your house is so fine and dandy, do you? Mm, yes, I do indeed, Sonny. It looks more like a cabin or a shack compared to my mansion. Oh, it's so much more splendiferous. Look at it. It has flowers fully equipped with chests and, and a library. And wait, what? Sunshine, what are you saying? It's late at night. The monsters are all gonna spawn in shortly. Please be ready to save us. We don't want to die. Don't worry, Sunshine. And my precious baby boy. We'll keep you safe. Isn't that right, Melon? We'll keep my family safe. Yeah, and I'll keep my family safe, Sonny. Wait, no, I just lost creative mode. Um, Sonny, the monsters, they're invading. Take them out. Melon, you handle the zombies. I'll take down whatever this creature is. Bro, it's a spider pig. That thing is cursed, bro. Take him down. I'm trying, but he's lunging all over the place. What is this? Gross. Sonny, take him out, bro. Please. I killed it. Let's go. Just a couple of zombies left. Die. Ew. There's a mutant watermelon. Ow, chill, chill. Oh, sorry. It's just you. Um, Sonny, why do I hear boss music? Oh, no. There's a mutant hoglin. Bro, we've got to take him down. If it's the last thing we do. I got this. Cover him with lava. Let him cook. Wait, that was actually genius, bro. He's getting fried. He's trying to get to the water. We can't let him. Take him down, Sonny. Wait, are we actually going to kill him, bro? You're a genius. I know, bro. Are you hungry? Because we've got barbecued pork. Bro, you just absolutely wrecked him. That was light work. Let's go. Anything to protect my family.
Sonny, do you hear that? What's that noise, bro? It sounds like a helicopter. Wait, is someone here to save us? Yo, there's a helicopter. I think we're gonna be okay. We're down here. Help, help. No way, it's Quandale. You're here to save us. Well, actually, I'm only here to save you, Sonny, and your family. Wait, what the heck, Quandale? I actually organized all of this. I was the one who exploded the portal. I was testing which one of you was a good father. And how am I not a good father? My family's at home and they're safe. No, they're actually dead. I don't know how you didn't notice this. What are you talking about, Quandale? They should just be inside. They, I, I left them there a second ago. No, no. Where are they? Anyway, Sonny, why don't you hop on in? Let's get out of here. Guys, don't leave me. Don't leave me. No, where did you go? I'm all alone on this island without a family. But at least I have you, goats. Please press that like and subscribe button right now to join the Melon family. Today in Minecraft, I have my very own little Sunny family. And I have my very own Melon family. This is my baby Melon. I built the coolest house ever for my family. It even has bumper cars. Yeah, but mine's way better. It's the same color as the subscribe button. Please press it right now. Let's try and race to 600,000 subscribers. Oh. Oh, where are we, bro? How did we get here? I have no idea, but... Sonny, what is this? <laughs> it looks like Melanie, and you've got a baby. You're telling me I have a family? What the heck is going on? Melon, I'm so glad you came home. Melon Jr. is so excited to see you. Hello, Papa Melon. Welcome home. Melody, I know we're dating, but like, I don't remember having a kid. What's going on? Melon, you were in a coma for so long, and you've finally woken up. I'm so glad. <laughs> Bro, this is so cringe. I'm gonna beat up your little baby, actually. Don't you dare! Yo, chill, fine, I'm out of here. This is too cringe. Wait, hold on a second, Sonny. There's no way! Wait a second. Uh, sunshine and a baby, Sonny! Don't tell me! I have a family, too! What type of dimension did we drop into? Come on, Sonny, I believe in you. You should make me and Sonny Jr. a cozy house to live in. Uh, Sunshine, you're kind of a crazy fan girl, I'm not so sure I want to live with you. But we already have a son. Look, his name is Baby Sonny. Isn't he adorable? Oh no. Oh no. Papa, please build us a house. If I stay here too long, I'll get sunburned. My son, that doesn't even make sense. You can't get sunburned. You're literally the source of all light and energy. Wait, no, no, no. I'm the source of all light and energy, but you're kind of like a baby version. Sonny, maybe we should have a build battle. I don't want our little boys to get hurt after all. You're right. They need a roof over their head, clothes on their back, and food in their belly! I'll prove that I'm the greatest father of all time! No, I'm the best dad, and I'm gonna make the best house ever! Just don't really like that I'm gonna be stuck with sunshine. She's crazy. Well, Sonny, you're the one that picked her. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Let the building competition begin. Whoever has the best house wins, and the loser, their entire family's gonna explode from TNT. What the- No, I- what, what are you talking about, bro? We're just building the house to protect our families. Sorry, Melon. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. This is insane. I don't want my little baby to explode. So I guess that means I'm going to have to make the greatest house ever. It's going to be super cozy and really cool. Let's see here. I'm going to need some yellow concrete. No, 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 no. Cut sandstone. That's nice. Some stone bricks. Couple torches to keep the mobs out and some glass windows. Yep. Ah, time to get building. Don't worry, family. I'll protect you. Papa, please protect me and my melon block friend. Please, please, please. Don't worry. I'll be the savior of melon kind. Melon, I'll take care of Melon Jr. Don't lose to Sonny. We have to win this. Don't worry. I'll make the ultimate melon-themed house. We believe in you, Melon. I think that's a pretty cool design. It's gonna look really good when I wrap it on every corner. Nice little window view wing area. And I'm gonna put the front door right here at the bridge. It's time to begin the build. First, I just need some nether bricks to lay a proper foundation. I'm thinking I'll put some fences here. Ooh, maybe some court stairs to build up this balcony. Yeah, yeah, this is genius. We'll have a little red themed balcony. Absolutely beautiful. 
and we'll use red concrete for the rest of the house. 20 minutes later. Okay, the first floor is looking pretty good. Now I just gotta go decorate the insides. And I did a little bit of a head start here with the bookshelves, because I'm gonna have a really grand library inside of my house, because my little boy needs to have a vast wealth of knowledge. And he needs a cozy place to study, right here by the fireplace. And then I gotta fix up my nice marble pillars. Yes, these are quite exquisite. Without this, he won't be able to appreciate real culture. Yes, absolutely magnanimous. And then over here, I'm thinking the entrance is pretty good. It could just use a storage chest or two. And then some extra flowers. Yes, we need to stay decorative. There we go. Keep sunshine happy. And let's go upstairs. This is gonna be the first bedroom in the house, and it's gonna need a bed. Otherwise, it's not a bedroom. And it's also gonna have furnaces! But these aren't for cooking food. These are for staying warm in winter. And then on top of that, we'll have some chests full of coal. Oh yeah. Oh, and a crafting table in case you need to do some arts and crafts. All right, guys, check it out. I have completed my house, but not totally, guys. I still haven't completed the back half. Give me a second. I got to work on extending this. More crafting tables. And in here, yeah, we need a little bit of storage as well. Let's do that. Furnace build. Oh, Ooh, this looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the progress. Now I've just got to keep building this thing up and building it up taller and having a second floor. Yep, pretty much just got to place a lot of these blocks. Voila, my house is complete. Isn't it beautiful, family? Wow, Dad, this house is so awesome, but I feel like we're missing some decorations or something. I've got to add... What should I add, Baby Melon? I want a big TV with a PlayStation 5 and a really cool gaming setup so I can play Roblox for a living just like you, Dad. Yo, you're a genius, Baby Melon. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Or in this case, the melon doesn't grow far from the rind. Anyways, time to decorate this house! I've already added most of the basic decorations, like cake, furnace, uh, chest, all that stuff. But I need to have a TV. And the perfect place for the TV would be in the basement. Basement. Just gotta go outside if I want to get there and then access it from here. Let's clear some of this hay out. We don't need this. We need a PS5. We need a couch. Don't need any of this storage. Yes, my house is looking beautiful. I even have a greenhouse room. It's so pretty up here. The sun is shining. The flowers are growing. All I need to do now is put a little bit of a roof, but I want it to look natural and feel good. So yeah, I'm gonna use these spruce planks and and I'm also gonna need some stairs. That's gonna be good. Guys, I have the wall-mounted TV. It literally takes up my whole screen. I can't see anything when I hold this thing. This is gonna be tough to place. I'm gonna have to place it in third person. Wabang! Hey, yo, might not make the entire wall one gigantic long TV. Maybe make it a little thick, too. Yes. This will be the ultimate gaming setup. That looks pretty good. And chairs here. Also, ooh, is there a PS5? That is terrifying. That is not a PS5. <gasps> We can have a Switch, though. Let's go. And why not have one Switch when you could have two? As you guys can see, I had a change of heart, and I went with Acacia Stairs plus the Sandstone, because I think it looks a little bit nicer with the yellow concrete. And now most of my house is finished. The green room, it's perfect, guys. Look at this place. There's so much natural light in here. Plus, if it's raining, you don't have to worry about catching a cold. But my house feels like it's still missing something something. I've got to add a feature that's more fun. Come on, there's got to be something here in creative mode that's awesome. Yo, potato cannon. The gaming setup's complete, baby melon. Melon, why don't we add a garden full of watermelons? That would be so beautiful, don't you think? You're right, Melanie. We definitely should do that. Creating the farms for my beautiful wife, and then we can grow much more baby melons and be a happily gigantic family. Landmines. Oh, that's not what I need. Whoa, this block looks awesome. Yo, that's cool. But that's not really what I need right now. Wait a second. I'm gonna add bumper cars. All right, there we go. Grab some water. Then what we gotta do is make sure this soil is fertile. Wait a second. I think I just did this the wrong way. I need three blocks in between. No, actually I need four. I am an idiot. One, two, three, four. And now they've been set up. I messed up again. What is wrong with me? And perfect. Now, grab some melon seeds. 
Plant the melons. Absolutely beautiful. And all I've got to do now is the melon chant. Oh, sweet watermelons. Watermelons of glory. Bring us life to the baby seed melons. Yo, it's actually working. They're growing. They're growing. The watermelons. They're growing at an unprecedented rate. It's beautiful. I'm bringing life to all melons. Now check this out. Very unassuming, my house. Nothing. Nothing cool underneath it, right? Sigh! Right in here, we've got bumper cars. Let me cover this back up. And now I've just got to finish working on the secret entrance. Yo, back behind the fireplace. This is going to be perfect. Check this out. Ghost block. I've never actually tried this. Can you light a ghost block on fire? Aw, I can't light it on fire. But that doesn't matter because this is perfectly blended in. Look at that. Secret spot. And then we'll put another ghost block right here. And time to add our bumper cars. Yes. Orange versus yellow. And both of those are actually the color of the sun. Yep, I know. Pretty awesome. There's still a few things my house is missing. I need to find a good spot to set up a gaming PC. How else am I supposed to play Minecraft and Roblox all day? Ah, uh, there's gotta be a spot somewhere. Probably upstairs is a better fit. What a beautiful day this is. And the melons are complete. Are you happy with that, Melanie? Isn't it gorgeous? That's awesome, Melon. You're the best gardener ever. I've never seen so many melons in one place. Our house is really cool, Dad, but can we please have a trampoline? Please, please, please. Don't you worry, baby Melon. I will make the most awesome, fun trampoline park you've ever seen. Just got to extend the island a little bit. There we go. A perfect extension. And now all I've got to do is begin construction on the trampoline park. Take this out. Grab some trampolines. And complete. But what would be really cool is if I built some diving boards so we could get extra height. Diving board? No way they actually have it. Bada bing, bada boom. This is awesome. Yeah, up here should be perfect. Because there's nothing more beautiful and relaxing than enjoying the night. Nice, all-natural terrain of the greenhouse combined with a gaming computer. Let's go. And headset. Yes, it's perfect. Now when they tell me to go touch grass, I'm already here. All I need is a nice, cushy gaming chair. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I should make something with slime blocks over here. Yeah, some kind of obby so I can go from here. Jump slime block onto the trampoline. Yeah, that'll be cool. And complete. Check it out. My trampoline park is awesome! I can go from here, bounce on the slime, on the trampoline. Oh, I almost... Whoa, whoa. I did make it to the diving board. Baby Melon, I made the trampoline park. Thank you so much, Dad, but can you please help me? I'm suffocating in this melon. Um, um, I'll dig you out of there. I won't hurt any melons in this process. You're safe, little buddy. Thank you so much. Our house is so cool. It has to be cooler than Sunny's. Time's up, Melon! Perfect, Sunny, because my house is complete and it's so awesome! Bro, it's so puny and tiny and ew! Why do you have a watermelon farm that's full of compost and poo? Oh, bro, because that's what my family likes. We protect the wanders. No, you literally just admitted you eat poop as fertilizer as your dinner. Yeah, well, Sonny, speaking of poop, look at your poopy house right here. It might be big, but it has absolutely no character and it's disgusting. What are you talking about, bro? You haven't even seen the inside yet. Plus, I've got epic surprise is in there. Well, then let's see it. I'm checking out your house! My family! See my house! Ouch. My family, sunshine, and my beautiful baby boy. Please, come and explore your new home. Melon, I don't think they're that interested anymore. Be free, sunshine! Uh, I guess these bridges were really confusing our family. There you go. Now, now walk around and see your new home. Son, stay away from the edge. That's dangerous. Sonny, let me just check out your house. Whoa. Oh. <sighs> Sonny, you actually did the most mid-job I've ever seen, bro. This isn't even that cool. What are you talking about, bro? There's a bookshelf section, which means my baby boy's gonna grow up to be way smarter than you. He might be smarter, Sonny, but he's gonna be a whole lot less fun, bro. You're gonna have a boring child. That is not true at all. Follow me over here. I meant over here. Sorry, my house is too big. I get lost sometimes. I'm following you, Sonny. Come upstairs to the greenhouse gaming room. No way. You're 
gaming outside but inside. That is actually really cool and creative. I know, it's luscious. And if anyone ever tells me to touch grass, I'm two steps ahead of them. You're already touching grass. That's what I'm saying, bruh. Plus, that's not even the biggest surprise in my house. I don't think you're ready for this. All right, Sonny, let's see your biggest surprise. Just follow me back downstairs. You were saying that my baby Sonny is not gonna have a very fun childhood. Well, why don't you walk through the fire? Bro, I'm just gonna get burnt. Let yourself cook! Ow! Ow! What the heck? No, son! Son, get out of the fire! No! He's burning himself! That's it, I'm going down. I think your son's gonna die. Hey, that's his problem. For now, though, bumper cars! Yo, this is awesome! Isn't it cool? Cool, bro. But, uh, you know how you said your son's gonna be fun? I think your son is dead, bro. I don't think he's coming back. No, I'm sure he's fine, bro. He's literally made of fire. There's no way that could have killed him. I guess you're right. Yeah, so that's my whole house. What do you think? You know, Sonny, I will give it a solid 8 out of 10. Just wait until you see my melon house, though. Come with me. So you're telling me I can raise a family here? You could, but your family is now dead. Oh. Okay, let's check out your house. Let's go! All right, Sonny, it's time to bust through this diamond wall and check it out. The melon... Yo, get out of my way! <laughs> Yo, Melanie's exploring everywhere already. It'd be a real shame if she were to, uh, uh, slip and fall. A tragic, tragic. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Get out of here, bro. Why are you trying to kill my wife? Bro, it's not that serious. Okay, maybe it is. You literally tried to murder my wife. That is the serious, deepest thing you could do. Well, how are you going to get her out of this predicament, huh? Uh, easy. Ow! And I'm back. Okay, let's see what else this Wander Melon's cooked up out here. Ah, uh, beets? Bro, that is gross. Ooh, but you have a cellar under here. Yo, where are the watermelon smoothies? Bro, we don't eat watermelons here. Oh, uh, what about beet juice? You're growing a whole bunch of vegetables. You can eat these beets if you want, but uh, we haven't learned how to juice them yet. Bro, these things are gross. Dude, whatever. You just don't appreciate it because you're so unhealthy. But Sonny, check this out. You're not gonna believe it. I have the most ultimate gaming setup you've ever seen. Better than mine? There's no chance. 100% is better than yours. Peep this. Bro, this is the biggest screen I've ever seen. Exactly, Sonny. Now when you're gaming, you can game. Yeah, but Melon, you have a huge problem. Yeah, what's that? You put your giant gaming setup inside of a moldy cellar. Look at these walls. It's disgusting. Bro, that's all part of the design. It just sets a good atmosphere to game in. Yeah, like the kind where I feel sick and nauseated already. Uh, get me out of here. <coughs> fine, fine, Sonny. I'll show you the real crown jewel of this house. The trampoline park. No way, bro. You built an entire trampoline park? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, I actually really appreciate this. This is one of my favorite activities. Check this backflip out. Boom. And on this trampoline, you can jump super high. No way. Let me try this. Let me try this. Boing. Yes, I'm going to jump on your roof. All right, I don't know if you can jump that high, but go for it. I'm gonna jump on your roof and murder your family. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Melanie, I'm here to pay you a visit, Melanie. There's no one to stop me. <laughs> cook! Cook! Ow! Ow! Sonny, what have you done? Sonny. Oh, wait. Melanie's back. <laughs> but I can't let you get away with what you've done. That's it, Sonny. That's it. Didn't I pay for it already? I literally burned a lot. I don't care, Sonny. Your house is going down! No, Melon, I have a family! Not anymore. Die! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Melon, what's that sound? Uh, Quandale, what are you doing here? What have you two knuckleheads done? We built houses for our family. And then Melon exploded mine! What's wrong with you? No, you two don't have families. This was just a simulation I ran as a part of my new experiment. Turns out, you're the worst parents anyone has ever seen in all of Minecraft. Well, my family's still alive. Melon, I literally put a lava bucket on Melanie after I pushed her into the void. But then she revived herself. She got 
revived because we're in a computer simulation. In real life, she would be burned to a crisp. Oh yeah, good point, Quandale. While you two should never have kids, the viewers should definitely press the subscribe button right now and get us to 600,000 subscribers. Press it right now to get goaded! Today in Minecraft, we become elementals. And we each have our own elemental family. I'm a fire elemental, so everything I touch goes ablaze. And I'm a water elemental because I'm a watermelon. Get it? Tell us in the comments who you think has the cooler elemental family. Wandale, what is going on? Why is my fist on fire? And Melon, what happened to you? Bro, I don't know. It's like I'm on fire too. But for some reason, these flames feel different. Yeah, bro, they kind of look a bit moist. Is that water? Well, yeah, Melon, you big dummy. Those are soul water hands. Quandale, what's going on? I brought you both here to have you meet your new elemental families. Wait, we've got families again? Don't tell me you're testing another simulation. No, no, no. This time it's for real, I swear. What are you talking about? Oh, no. I actually have a kid. Baby melon and watermelony. Yo, they actually look awesome. Except your kid kind of looks a bit moldy, bro. Do you think that's healthy? Dude, that's just his root. He's still growing. Oh, uh, well, you should stay in the ground, baby melon. You look nasty. What is wrong with you? It's a baby. Baby. Oh, sorry. Well, let me go check up on my family. Fire shine. Dude, it's the crazy fat girl sunshine. Except she looks so perfect. You're beautiful, fire shine. And wait, what happened to my baby's face? Half of it's missing. Sonny, it's because just like you, he's empty on the inside. <laughs> Which means we're capable of anything, Melon. Anything! Yo, relax. How can I relax when you just called me soulless and empty? Ah! Get wrecked! Okay, you two, enough of this shenanigans. You gotta start working on your houses. Melon, you're a water elemental. Get it? Like watermelon? Anyways, Sunny, you're obviously a fire elemental. Okay, Quandale, but what are we supposed to build with? I don't know. Figure it out with your family? Okay. Baby melon, watermelony! My dear family, fire shine, and my cute little baby Sunny. I need your help. I'm supposed to build us a new home for us to live in as a family, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to construct this. I don't have a pickaxe, and I don't have any blocks. Oh, don't worry, Sonny. Our son has been keeping a pickaxe here for you, safely. Wait, really? Baby Sonny, you have a pickaxe? Yeah, it's right here behind this block, Papa. No way! Okay, this is perfect. I'm gonna build us the greatest house ever. Um, what do I build for you guys? Can we please have a new house? Please, please, please? Uh, I would, but I, I, I don't even have creative mode right now. Plus, I'm not that great of a builder. There's a legendary watermelon on on this island that if you water it using your elemental powers, it will grow into a giant house for us to live in. For real, baby melon? Okay, okay. I've just got to find the hidden legendary watermelon. It's got to be around here somewhere. No, Dad, stop. You don't need to break those blocks. Wait, what do you mean I don't need to gather these blocks? I heard a rumor that underneath our island, there was a legendary fireball, which if powered up with elemental powers, will create a giant mansion. Thank you, my son. And now I will find that fireball of legends and construct the biggest mansion this nether has ever seen. Now, where is it? And why are there piles of netherite scraps everywhere? Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be so rich. Wait, what is this? What is this? No way. Is the ancient fireball in here? It looks like it is. Just gotta find a way to parkour across safely. Otherwise, I might burn in the lava. Ooh, ooh. What is that? I am the magma creature, an ancient monster that guards this island, and within me is a mansion of untold beauty. Wait a second, you've got the mansion inside of your belly? Well, I got no choice, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> One fireball coming right up. Come on, bro, there's nothing here. All I see is dirt. Dang it, bro. This watermelon is nowhere to be found. Hold on a second. Maybe, just maybe, it's in the trees. I don't see it, though. And watermelons don't usually grow in the trees, so this doesn't make a lot of sense. But yet again, it is a hidden legendary watermelon. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. That looks like a watermelon! I actually found it! Now, all I've got to do is give it enough water, and it will grow into my elemental house. 
house. Um, I just am missing one thing. Baby Melon, do you have a bucket? No, he does not, but I do. Thank you so much, Melody. Yes, yes. Now, all I've got to do is deliver this watermelon some water. Yes, and with the power of this water, it should grow. Something's happening. Something's happening. Did it work? There's only one way to find out. To the surface. Where is it? Where's the house of untold fire beauty? It worked. No way. Family, look, we have a home. Oh, it actually worked. This house is insane. It even goes all the way underwater. Let me see. I hope we've got a nice setup. I could use some food right about now. Are you serious? There's no kitchen, no living room. How am I supposed to watch TV? Uh, whoa, look at Melon's Island. The water element looks pretty cool. All right, I'll check in with Quandale and see what's next. Wow, thank you, Papa. This house is the best house ever. You guys are welcome. I can't wait to explore this place. Yes, I did it. My house is ready. Same here, Sonny. Well done, Sonny and Melon. The only thing is, neither of you have furniture yet, so I rate both one out of ten. Well, Quandale, how are we supposed to decorate our house? We don't even have creative mode. Here you go. Let me see the best you've got. Thank you, Quandale. Finally, I can make a mega TV in my house with surround sound speakers and have the best kitchen ever with cakes and cookies. Cakes and cookies and donuts. Yeah, Sonny. Well, I'll have the most awesome water-themed house ever. There'll be watermelons all over the wall, on the floor, on the ceiling. It's gonna be awesome. Ew, bro. Your house is probably gonna smell really bad. Also, what is under your house? Do you have a water temple down there? Dude, you wanna peep my house, dude? Check out each other's cribs. I'll take you in from the top. I'm going in from the bottom. Whoa, this looks cool. It's pretty awesome, isn't it, Sonny? You have a secret nether portal down here? Yeah, exactly, dude. My base is also super super useful. Now I'm gonna fly up a little bit. Dude, this is actually pretty goaded. I know, right? And check it out, Sonny. I even got my whole entire pool. No way, bro. Your whole island is an aquarium? Uh, Melon? Wait, why am I in survival mode? What is that? Sonny, what is that thing? It's the Sea King. Melon, I think because we're so close to the Sea King, he put us in survival mode. Swim away. Yo, scram, scram. Sonny, you're right, dude. I gained my creative mode back. Same here. That was one scary, scary creature. We're gonna pretend like he doesn't exist. Yeah, bro. I'm just glad my island doesn't have anything weird like that. Um, Sonny, why is there a giant lava island above your base? What are you talking about? My island just has my house. Dude, look straight up. What is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Melon, I don't want to mess with that. I have a bad feeling if I go any closer, I might also get switched game modes. No! Thank goodness I didn't get as close as you, Sonny. You know what they say, fly too close to the sun and you get burned. I've got a bad feeling there's another boss up there. Yeah, same here. But for now, Sonny, let me see your crib. The nether sun house. Yeah, there's nothing in here, bro. It's just a big empty house. Wow, dude, this was incredibly lame. I'm gonna go start decorating. Yeah, you might think it's lame, but I had to use an ancient fireball to build it. Okay, that is pretty cool. I had to use a secret legendary watermelon to grow my house. Bro. Oh, that's awesome. Anyways, time to do my furniture. Okay, guys, it's time to decorate my house. And I think it's pretty obvious what this house is missing. We need watermelons! Oh, it's so beautiful. Look, I can even put carved melons. Yo, look at their expressions. And a little melon with legs. Bro, that's so cute. Oh, yeah, you already know. This house is gonna have a big screen TV and a gaming station. Let's go! Creative mode gaming. Check this out. Triple curved melons monitor. Giant display unit. Oh, this is gonna be insane. Yes. Yes. Let's build the game station. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be big enough to host an entire LAN party. Check it out! And then we'll put some of these guys. Some of these. Oh, that was too big. It didn't even fit. There we go. And then we need the rigs. Hold up. Can I even fit these? Yes, I can. And one more all the way here. Look at that. Every possible gaming setup. And then right here, I'll have the laptop station. Just in case we need more game setups. All right, now that the melons have been placed, it's time I make my house a little more useful. So let's place some chests down for storage. Yeah, that's a good spot for some chests. And we need some crafting tables, of course. And this should be the storage room. And I think
think that's pretty good. The storage room is complete. Now, over here, we should have some schmelters. This should be the schmelting room. Furnace, blast furnace. Yo, this is crazy. Password, protected furnaces. I gotta get at least one of those. There we go. Blast furnaces. And my top secret secure, password protected furnaces. Of course, we're gonna need some more storage. Let's place some more right here. And I'm pretty happy with this room. Now, let's check out upstairs. I don't even think we've seen this yet. Whoa, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, but it's feeling a little bland. Let's add some melons and some vines around here. Yep, this is gonna look cool. Make it a little more homey, you know, for my little baby melon. And yo, I got a roof access. Dude, check out this view. I can see everything from here. Whoa, I didn't even know this part of my house existed. What's back here? Yo, I've got a courtyard. Dude, this house is way more insane. And an enchantment table room already pre-built. Bro, my house is actually so cool. Wow. Let's play some melons, shall we? Now we need the world's biggest TV. Let's see. I think it's gonna go right there. Wait, that's not even that big. What about the 8K OLED? Oh yeah, that's better. It needs a little console underneath. And then we need gaming chairs. There we go. Like that, like this. Boom, bada, bing. Let's go. This place is gonna be so much fun to play video games. And, oh, stairs that lead to the basement. This is just so impeccably awesome. Let's grab some furniture. This should be the chill room. All right. Yep, this looks like a vibing spot. Make the melon couch. And on the other side, we'll have the water-themed sofa. Because I represent the water elements. And I should probably add a kitchen somewhere. That should be the last thing I do. And what better place to have the kitchen than right outside? No way. There's even gaming consoles. I'm gonna put one there. And webcams over here. This is my ultimate YouTube setup right here. I've got my webcam and my microphone. Oh, that is a great YouTube recording right there. Minecraft and the Lost Cactus. Love it. And then I'm gonna put a trampoline over here because everybody loves a good bounce. There we go. That is awesome. These are the TV chairs. And now I gotta make the kitchen. So we'll place this. Oh, that looks weird. Okay, hold on, hold on. We'll place it right here, actually. Little sink, an oven. What do I use this spatula for? I guess I'll just use this to slap Sunny. And this is my little kitchen. It's pretty cute. Just like that, my house has been furnished. What do you guys think, Melon and Melanie? Wow, this house is so cool, Dad. I love all the watermelon decorations. Oh, you guys are just the most supportive ever. That looks pretty good. And then I realize I need a bedroom. So yeah, let's just let's just put it right here. There we go. A big, big bed. And just in case anyone messes with me, I got my swords ready. Oh, a TNT painting. Those are nice. A little bit more art for the house. Yes, splendid. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is a nice water feature. But instead of water, it's gonna be love. Because, of course, we are a lava house. So let's actually have it come from the obsidian ceiling. Oh, no, it's spreading too quickly. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> a nice entryway. Sunny, this house is amazing. I can't wait to move in and start living here. Oh, thank you, Fireshine. I appreciate it. Let's see what Melon did. Well done, boys. Now I'll remove your creative mode. Wait, what? What if I wanted to build a garden? Too bad. Your next task is unlocking your elemental body. And I'll let you two figure out what that means. Sunny, what? What does that mean, bro? I'm so lost. I don't know, bro. I would have thought we already have our elemental bodies. Don't we look pretty good already? Yeah, but it must be something else. Hold on a second, Sonny. Let me just slap you. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> he just died from a spatula, Sonny. You're pathetic. Yeah, why don't you look at your house now? Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's see. What do you have in your decorations? Oh, look at this little guy. Hey, hey, ow. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, stop. Stop. Die. <laughs> it's too late. This little fella's all mine. You animal, get out of my house. No, I want to take a quick tour. Let's see what you build. Hey, but don't break any more watermelons. Fine. I'm just keeping this as an offering. Do you like my vinyl room? Yeah, that was lovely. Let's see what's all the way up here. Uh, this is just this is just a rooftop view of my mansion, Sonny. But check out over here. This is probably my favorite part of the house. Okay, what are you talking about? Dude, look at this. The outside comes inside. Wait, you got watermelons out here. And that's it? I've got an enchantment room. Whoa, this looks awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of my house. I'd probably rate it like a 4 out of 10. Okay, okay, let's see your house then. 
bed. Bro, you don't even have a kitchen. No, my kitchen's right here. You're capping. This is your kitchen. Furnace and a sink. It's it's uh, small, compact, but gets the job done. Okay, where's your bedroom? And your gaming room. And your TV room. And your trampoline room. And your trash can room. Whatever, let's see yours. Right this way, Mr. Melon. Just up here, you'll see that my house is spectacular. It even has a watermelon in it. Give me that thing back. Whoa. Sonny, your house is actually awesome. I love the decorations, bro. Genius with that lava design. I know. I thought I needed a fountain. So I made it out of lava. That's awesome. And you've got a nice kitchen, dude. Respect, respect. Wait, is this a sussy bussy? And look, I even have a trash can. I could put you in there if you want. I thought that was the imposter from Among Us. Oh, no, you're right. That actually low-key looks like that. Sus, bro. Very sus. Dude. Nice bed, bro. Respect. You got the netherite swords. That's awesome. Yeah, so don't mess with me. What else do you have around here? An entire gaming setup, bro. You have so many gaming setups. I know. I can host a whole LAN party and everyone from the neighborhood could come play video games. Plus, look, I can make YouTube videos from here. That is so sick. And you've got a TV and a PS5 and a trampoline. Yeah, pretty much got the best house in Minecraft. I know. That's actually really, really cool, Sonny. But uh, what do you think Quandale meant by elemental bodies? I have no idea, Melon. So I'll check in with my family. They seem to have all the answers so far. Ooh, that's a good idea, Sonny. Hey, guys, the house is finished and it's time to move in. Only one problem. Quandale said I need to figure out the elemental body. What does that mean? Well, Sonny, I've been feeling something rumbling and tumbling deep within my spirit. Uh, that doesn't sound healthy, Fireshine. It's normal, but I feel like something is missing. I think if you bring me the gemstone of fire, we'll become our elemental bodies. Oh, no way. Maybe you are the elemental body Quandale was talking about. But where am I supposed to get a gemstone of fire? Dad, why don't you just look up? Oh, no. Don't tell me I have to face that boss. Don't worry, Dad. You can take this elytra. Wait, no way. This will make it way easier to get up there. Equip that. Hey, baby melon. Uh, I've got a question for you. Do you know what an elemental body is and how we get it? I'm the elemental body, melon. I need to activate my true form in order to turn into it. What the heck? Then how do I get you to your true form? I need the heart of the sea, but I don't know where you could find it. Oh, no. The only thing I know that has a heart of the sea is the sea king below my house. Oh, yeah, that's right. The sea king has it, and he's very dangerous, but you must defeat him to get the heart of the sea. Okay, I got this, Water Melanie. Sonny has a sword or two that I could borrow. All I've got to do is sneak in. Oh, dang it, he's outside right now. There's no way I can get into his house. Time to destroy this boss! Wait a second. He's flying away. No way! He's going up there. Oh, no. He probably has to fight his boss, too. But this is the perfect chance for me to steal a netherite sword. Yes, give me this, please. Please give me this. One eternity later. Oh my goodness, it worked! Actually, how strong is this thing? Eight attack damage. Okay, it is stronger than my spatula. I just had to make sure. And with this, I should be able to take down the Sea King. Hopefully. I don't really know. He looks very, very strong. Wait a second, guys. I'm not even drowning. It's because I have water breathing. I guess it's because my element is water. And it's just one of my elemental powers. And now, it's time for me to take down the Sea King. Give me that heart of the sea. Time! Wait a second. I'm wrecking him. He can't even hit me. Ow, he does damage. He does a lot of damage. And he's got a lot of health. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's swimming. He's learned to swim. And he learned to punch back. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Come on. Ow. He's hitting me from so far. He's got his back turned. Ow. Okay, this guy is not nice. Hiya. 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 Yes. Yes. I'm actually defeating him. Yes. Get down there. Wombo combo. Ow. Ow. Oh, no. I'm low. I'm low. I gotta swim away. But I got him at half health. I can do this. Yeah. Ow. Yes. I'm doing damage. Come on. He's so strong. Come on. Ow. I'm low. I'm real low. I wish I could harness the power of the seas. Wait. No way. I got a trident. And it has loyalty. Yes. With the power of the seas, I'll take you down. I'm wrecking him. I'm wrecking him now. Come on. Sea King die. So low. He's so low. Just a few more hits. Wait, he dropped a heart of the sea. Let's go. Let's go. With this, I can activate Water Melanie's elemental body. Water Melanie, I did it. I defeated the Sea King. Take this. Yes, Melon, you did it. Now I will turn into my true form. Hiya! Oh no. The fire spirit. I've got to take him out. Die. 
way. Oh, no, he hurts. He hurts. I can do it. Yes. I think that was the fire gemstone. I've just got to pick it up. Gracefully, though. Otherwise, I might splat. Yes, I've got it. The gemstone of fire. Fire shine. I've done it. I defeated the boss. Here, the gemstone of fire. It's all yours. Thank you, Sonny. Now I can transform into my true form. Wait, Melanie, where'd you go? She turned into her true water form. I don't even know what that means. Uh, what the heck? No way. Melanie, you're a dragon. Fire shine. What have you become? Baby Sonny, you're still here. Thank goodness. Dad, isn't mommy incredible in her true form? She's so beautiful. The fire statue. And wait, what is this? Melon has a water dragon up here? Let me see what he's up to. Melon, what is that? You've got a water dragon? Yeah, bro. That's water Melanie's elemental body. And did you see this yet? <laughs> that's fire shine's elemental body. No way, dude. That's awesome. Our wives are pretty spectacular, huh? Oh, yeah. Sonny, what is that? Yo, chill. Quandel, why? Why? Sonny, he's gonna kill. How am I supposed to fight this thing? Dad, you've got to get the elemental sword from inside of mom. Oh, no. I've got to find that sword quickly, especially with this dark elemental on the loose. Where's it? It's got to be around here somewhere. If I was fire shine, where would I keep the fire sword? Maybe inside of the giant sword? No, I don't see it in there. Wait a second. Let me check the crown. Oh, there's just lava here. Wait a second. It's fake lava. I'm alive. There must be a secret somewhere in this. No way. I'm inside of the elemental body's head. And this looks like a fire sword. Gimme. Yes. This dark monster doesn't stand a chance now. Oh, no, baby melon. This dark elemental's really scary. Papa, you gotta get your elemental sword from mom's elemental body in order to defeat him. Please do it quickly. He's so scary. But baby melon, there's no way of getting to her. Believe in mom. She's gonna make a waterfall for you to climb. All right, baby melon. I'll go for it. Okay, stay right there, dark elemental. Okay, okay. Yo, he's right. There is a waterfall. All I've got to do is swim up. Come on, come on. Bro, I found the fire sword. You've got to hurry. Dude, it's got to be around here somewhere. Um, um, maybe in the mouth. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, yo, it's here. The water sword. Let's go. Sonny, let's take down this dark elemental. Let's go. I'm with you. Time. Time for him to die. Ow. Oh, I'm burning him. I'm burning him good, Melon. Get in here. I'll take him down with water. Fire. Bro, we're actually doing this. Yo, we're cooking him. The power of the elements is strong, bro. This must be why Quandale gave us a fire and water family. It must be, Sonny. Take him down. We did it. We actually did it, bro. Yo, Quandale, you're back. Well, guys, I congratulate you two on passing my latest experiment. You two would actually be pretty all right, fathers, after all. But terrible husbands. I mean, you turned your wives into statues for crying out loud. Wait, no, Quandale. She asked me to give her the fire gemstone. Yeah, she wanted to go back into her elemental body. Yeah, but that too was a test and you failed. Also, this was once again a simulation. Wait, you uh, lied to us, Quandale? Not again, Melon. I wanted to be a dad. Like, look at this little guy. He's so perfect. Well, too bad, Sonny. He ain't real. My son! No! You are not the father. Anyways, if you viewers want more funny family simulation videos, Press the subscribe button right now. Today in Minecraft, we have peasant families, and we're gonna help the king to earn money. We have to defeat a Gorgon, but we accidentally injure a royal guard and get banished forever. With Quandale's help, we'll conquer a dragon slayer cave, defeat royal guards, and take on the fire, ice, and lightning dragons. Join us as we defeat the royal king who banished us and build our own kingdom. And subscribe if you want to be part of our royal family, the goats! Melon, how many more sheep do we have to shear today? Bro, we've got to get at least six wool each, Sonny. That's our quota. Well, I'm at five. Uh, uh, what is this guy? Have you ever seen a sheep like this? Yo, I got him. Yo, I just sheared one of those too, bro. I think they're a ram, technically. And, no, I needed that. No, I needed it, Sonny. I just need one more wool, and then I'm done working for today me too there we go six white wool and one brown ram wool exactly sonny now it's time to return home sit back relax and enjoy a nice home cooked meal from the wife am i right oh yeah sonny <laughs> let's head to the wife's wait did i say wife
life. We have a family again? Yeah, bro. We've had a family for a while. And now let's head to our awesome houses, Sonny. Yeah. Sunshine and baby Sonny. Why do you look like you're about to go to the circus? I don't know, Dad. I just think Pond Me is really cool. Sonny, dear, can we get a nicer looking house than this? We barely have enough space for anything. And it's kind of moldy in this dirt. Moldy? You're gonna insult this beautiful home that I built just for our family? Well, yeah, it's not really nice. Oh, yeah, you, you're kind of right. This is just a hideous green top. Melon, you really need to get a better job. You can't keep shearing sheep. I won't want to live in a dirt hut forever. Okay, uh, oh, uh, baby Melon, what should I do? You should talk to the king. Maybe he can give you a better job. Sometimes, son, I think you're smarter and wiser than even myself. Sonny, we've got to get a better job, bro. Follow me. Are you sure, bro? Our sons could just do circus acts for us. Dude, we can't be living in the green top forever. All right, let's go talk to the king. Maybe he's got a job we can do. Or like a royal quest. <laughs> Excuse me, king. Do you have any quests we can embark on? We'll literally do anything. I don't care how dangerous. I just need to get rich. Oh, in that case, I do have a quest for you. But it's dangerous. A gorgon has invaded our land, and she needs to be stopped using the armor and swords. But remember one thing. Do not look at her eyes. Okay, so as long as we don't make eye contact, this should be pretty easy, Sonny. Plus, you've got glasses, so we're pretty much good. Yo, you're right. I have immunity. Let's go. Armor, 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 armor. Oh, this is cool. Also, if you lose that armor, you'll be in debt to me for the rest of your lives. Um, okay, King. I, pr I promise we won't lose the armor. Besides, Melon. <laughs> If we lost the armor, that means we're probably dead, so who cares? Uh, yeah, you are a terrible father. Let's go! Sonny, this is looking really spooky, bro. Yeah, I don't know if we should go in this place. It's like an old abandoned temple. Sonny, we have no choice. We need to do this for our families. Yeah, I'm sure they'll appreciate being rich more than having their dad slash husbands. Um, Sonny, I'm confused. I thought the Gorgon was supposed to be in here, but I don't see anything. You're right, Melon. I don't see the monster anywhere, but I do see all of these levers. Ooh. What did that just do? I heard it unlock something. Secret staircase. No freaking way. Sonny, what are these statues? I don't think these are statues. I think these are fallen warriors who tried to destroy the Gorgon. Did they look in her eyes and get turned to stone? I think they did, bro. This place is giving me the creeps. Just uh, keep your head down, Melon. Don't look up just in case she's around a corner. Sonny, it looks like I found the Gorgon. Wait a second, Melon. You could just play in third person so you don't have to worry about looking at her face. Ah, I found her! You are a genius, Sonny! Where is she? I don't know, I'm trying to slap her right now. Wait, you're right, Sonny. Let's take her out. Come on! Make sure you're looking at the ground, bro. You don't want to get turned into stone. Wait, I'm gonna look at her. Look, see, this is chill, Sonny. She's not even killing me. Look. Yeah, because she's killing me. Ah, ah, her eyes went yellow. Die, die! Bro, how much health does she have? I don't know, but I wonder if I look like this, what'll happen? Oh, no! Oh, Sonny, you took her out just in the nick of time. I'm alive. And what did she drop? Give me that. The Gorgon's head. Can I use this on you? Uh, Sonny, that obviously won't work. Ow! I just turned you into stone! Sonny, turn me back. Turn me back, Sonny. Melon, Melon, I've got you, bro. Get out of that stone. Yo, Sonny, it worked. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use this anymore, huh? Yeah, dude, that thing is way too powerful my liege my liege i have it the gorgon's head wow well done sunny and melon that's excellent work yeah i know didn't we do great check it out look what this thing could do um sunny what did you just do i was just trying to show the king how it works you just killed my royal guard and nephew. You are banished from this kingdom at once. You and your family must leave right this instance. Also, give me that Gorgon's head. Wait, what? Why? Dang it, Melon, we've got to go. The king seems really upset. I think he's going to kill us if we don't leave. Sonny, quickly, just give him your armor and stuff and dip. Oh, no, I'm keeping the armor. That's for sure. What? You know what? You're crazy. You're crazy. Let's just get out of here. Bro, I've already been banished. Why would we give up the armor? Because then we'll be in debt forever. In debt, dude, we're banished. You're not even making sense right now. Oh, wait, you're right. Can I have my armor back? Yeah, there you go. Now tell your family to pack their things. We're leaving right now. Melanie, baby Melon, I tried to get us out of the green top, but it didn't work. Now we're gonna have no top. We're gonna be homeless. It wasn't my fault!
fault. You can blame Sonny. All right, Sunshine and my beautiful son, it's time for us to pack up our things. The king has banished us from these lands. It wasn't my fault. I accidentally turned his nephew into stone. Dad, we don't have any stuff to pack up. We can just go right now. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Being broke does have its perks sometimes. Let's go! We can't keep running forever. You need to find us a new home soon. Hey, let's not exaggerate. It's been six and a half days. Dad, my feet are sore. Please. It's okay. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a kingdom around here somewhere. There it is! I told you it was around here, guys. Look, our new home! See? No more green top. We're gonna live in a castle. Um, Sonny, I don't know about this castle, bro, actually. They've got skulls on their front doorstep. That's perfectly normal, Melon. They're just trying to scare off bad guys. Plus, Sonny, I don't see a single villager around here. Hold on, let me check, let me check. Uh... Hello? Hello? No, Melon, Melon, there's gotta be a villager in this house. Come on. That's it. I'm coming in. Oh, no. Melon, this place is completely abandoned. I don't know about completely abandoned, Sonny. There's smoke coming from the castle. That means someone's here. For some reason, they're not answering our calls. You're right, bro. Maybe whoever built this place is still around. I don't know, Sonny. This is really spooky. Maybe it's spooky. Or maybe it's like a brand new timeshare resort. And we're gonna be the first people to move in. Sonny, nobody's here! Hello? Hello? Who's out there? Sonny and Melon, is that you? Wait, who was that? It sounded like Quandale! No way! Quandale Dingleberry, what are you doing here? Well, I was kind of getting tired working for the king, so I decided to build my own place. But I heard you guys got banished. What are you doing here? We did get banished. That's exactly why we're here. We need a new home. Please, King Quandale Dingleberry, will you accept us into your... Quit being so cringe, Sonny. Of course you can stay. Yes, Melon! We have a new home! Let's go! So, Quandale, is there anything we should know about this place? Well, yes, I actually really angered the royal king, and he's on his way here to level my king with his army. So yeah, I could really use some backup. Wait, what? Are you kidding me, Quandale? Yup, you're now part of my problem too. Dang it, bro. Well, what are we gonna do? You're a genius. Maybe we can like figure some way to defeat this army? Yeah, I've got a plan. You two just need to go to the Slayer Cave and retrieve the armor and weapons of legends. Then you should be able to defeat the king's army. For now, I'll prepare the soldiers for the battle. Wait, Quandel, you have soldiers? Yeah, your wife and kids, they just got here too, didn't they? <laughs> Wait, what? You're gonna use our family as your soldiers to fight the king? Well, yeah, I have nobody else here. Melon, we better find these weapons fast. Otherwise, our families might get hurt. Well, Sonny, we have no choice. Let's do this thing. Yeah, Quandel, where exactly is this? Dragon Slayer Cave. 5,399, 4,000. Whoa, look at this place. Quandale was right. There is a legendary cave here. And just look at these chests, bro. Dude, this could be our chance to get looted. Uh, Melon, cobwebs. There's just cobwebs. Hey, there's raw mutton. That's some good food. Oh, there's wool here, bro. Just like our old job. This takes me back to the good old days. I wouldn't call them so good. We were pretty dead broke. But you know what? It was a lot better than now, so you're right and speaking of the here and now i thought this cave was supposed to have weapons and armor there's nothing here sonny we just got to inspect the place a little bit ah melon melon yo where are we bro this place is crazy i don't know sonny but something tells me the legendary armor is hiding at the end of these obstacles well melon why don't you go through all right i got this bro it looks like this is some kind of part Core? Sonny, what is wrong with you? Ow! I just wanted to make sure it was lava. It could have been fake, bro. Imagine if it was fake lava. We would have wasted so much time. Dude, you are being a menace. Yo, there's water right behind you, bro. You could have gone and cooled off. No, I must take the heat. Sonny, it seems like some kind of lava parkour. We've got to get across. Oh, I will be the first to the other side because I'm taking the first pick of the armor. Come on. Ow, ow, melon, melon, melon. That's what you get for messing with me. Okay, I deserved it. I deserved it. That's true. Ow, ow, ow. Make it. Yes. Sonny, this place is extremely dangerous. We've got to be more careful. Yeah, bro. I'm literally cooking alive right now. Ah! 
Ow. Ow. Good thing I have some handy dandy steak. Jump over here. Yes. I think I've got the optimal route. No, I do. I'm literally doing it right now. I'm zooming, bro. I'm zooming. No, I'm zooming. I'm zooming. Sunny, we've made it to the next level. It looks kind of scary, bro. Yeah, what is this place, bro? It went from lava to ice. Wait a second. Fire dragon. Ice dragon. What's the next area? You're right, Sunny. This is the dragon slayer cave. So that must represent the fire dragon. This the ice dragon. And what does this represent over there? I don't know, dude. I just hope we find some powerful gear soon, just in case we awaken a slumbering dragon. Ooh, chest. Yo! No way. Give me that red dragon armor! I'm taking the ice dragon because I'm too cold. Dude. Flamed dragon bone sword. This thing is insane. Plus eight damage against ice dragons. And look at this one, bro. The ice dragon armor. Plus Plus eight damage against fire dragons. Bro, we are so strong. Sonny, let's go through this door. Uh, Melon, we need a key for that, bro. That doesn't just open up. Oh, wait, you're right. We should probably keep our eye out for a key card or some type of mechanism to open this up. You're right. Maybe some of these buttons. Oh, yeah, good idea. Let's press all of these. Pressure plate. Yeah, nothing there. Maybe under one of these soul fires? No, there's nothing here. Wait a second, Melon. Uh, is it just me or does this wall look very suspicious? Very, very suspicious, Sonny. Maybe we should put our new dragon bone pickaxes to the test. Let's do it! Oh no. Melon! Melon! Look out! Why do we do that? Why? Okay, I can freeze them and you can burn them! Wombo combo! Wombo! Yo, Sonny, we just annihilated them! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, this little cave was easy to defeat. But what's in here? Sonny, I I found a secret chest and it has a key. Nice. I think you should be able to use that key to open up this ancient wall. Let's try. Yo, it worked. No way. What is this? Bro, what kind of armor is that? Fire dragon steel chest plate? Ice dragon steel? Hold on. What's this one? I've got to know. Lightning dragon steel. Dibs, dibs. I'm taking the lightning. Bro, I'm taking the fire for sure. Bro, mine looks looks way cooler than you. Yeah, whatever you say, Sonny. Yeah, do that again and I'll freeze you! Ow! Whoa! Sonny, check this chest out! These weapons are insanely powerful! 30 damage! Ow! I'm cooking on this magma. Whoops. Bro, you're right. These are nuts. Wait a second. Why don't we just take everything? Sorry, Sonny. Just wanted to check that out. But you're right. We should take everything. Well, guys, I'm assuming Sonny respawned at Quandale's, so it's time to head back. Quandale, what are you doing in the live? Library. I've been studying battle strategies on how to defeat the king. Okay, and what have you learned? What type of tactics should we be employing in the battlefield? Well, pretty much what I've learned is if you have strong armor and powerful weapons, you'll win the war. Oh, well, that's pretty convenient. Here, give this to my family. Silver armor and dragon scale armor. And these weapons as well. Ice dragon steel axe and ice dragon steel sword and all this stuff. Melon, our families are going to be so strong now. It's going to be awesome. We'll take down this army. Now, Quandale, anything else we should know? I'll distract the king's army with your family, and you go for the king. All right, Quandale, just keep them safe. We'll take out the royal king. Sonny, look, our family, they're fighting. Yo, they're surrounded and creating the perfect distraction. I hope they can survive this. That's a lot of guards. Sonny, Sonny, we've don't got a lot of time. We've got to take down that royal king. You're right, and our family looks safe, bro. They're destroying that army. King! You scumbag! You're gonna go down for this! Oh no, you guys got me! Psych! How dare you threaten a king! Oh no! Oh no! A dragon! It's got thunder! Sonny, he's destroying me! Ow! It's okay, I have the thunder dragon! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Sonny, he's picked me up! Ah! Wait, Melon, I have an idea! Why don't I go grab the gorgon head? Sonny, hurry up, bro! This dragon's way too strong! Give me a second, I left it inside of Quandale's kingdom! Oh no! Oh no! Just keep the dragon! 
I'm busy. I'll be back. Sonny, I thought you gave it to the royal king. Yeah, and then I scooped it up before we left. Better hurry up, bro. This dragon's way too powerful. I've got it. The Gorgon's head. I'm coming back, Melon. Sonny, take him out. Melon, I got you. Gorgon head attack. Uh, Melon, I don't think it's working on the dragon. Sonny! We're gonna have to kill him the old-fashioned way. Die! Oh, no. I'm low. I'm actually low. I got him. I got him. Yo, he's eating you. Take him down. Melon! Melon, get out of that... Ow! Get out of that dragon's mouth. Bro, bro, I'm low. Oh, no. Me too. Three hearts. I'm eating my steak. He's gotta be low, though. We've done so much damage. Battle axe. Chop him. I hope I'm not healing him with this lightning. Sonny, I think you might be. It's okay. I'm gonna use the ice sword now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got him frozen. I'm absolutely wrecking him. Take him down. Die, dragon. Die. I got him. I got him. We actually did it. Now, let's deal with the king. King, we've slain your dragon. Surrender now. I will never give up. You will perish. No, king. You will. Turn to stone. Yo. We did it, Melon. We defeated the evil king's army, and now we've saved Quandale's kingdom. And you guys can save our channel by pressing that like and subscribe button. Today in Minecraft, we're competing in Santa's build battles with our families. We gotta build the best Christmas-themed houses to win. But unfortunately, Dr. Longbottom's kidnapped Santa, and we have to save Save him. Both of our families team up in order to defeat Dr. Longbottoms and save Christmas. Comment down below what you want to get for Christmas and happy holidays. Oh, Sonny, what a jolly house you have. Dude, I'm so excited for the holidays. I can't wait to sit by a cozy fire and sip some hot chocolate. Bro, I know. It's cozy season. And check out your house. It looks like a giant gingerbread mansion. It is, bro. It's beautiful, jolly, and perfect. I I wouldn't change anything about it. But Dad! What's up, Baby Melon? It's nice, but it's missing something. Santa will be here soon. In the spirit of Christmas, we need to decorate more. Well, Baby Melon, what could I possibly add? To start, I would add some Christmas trees. And you should probably look inside. There's nothing in the house. Wait a second! I gotta decorate the inside of my house, too! Oh, no. My family's probably really annoyed with me. Sunny, hurry up. Santa will be here soon. You need to decorate the inside of the house and build a snowman. You're right, sunshine. <gasps> Build a snowman. Build a snowman. Let's start with that. Um, you're telling me the entire inside of my house is empty? My goodness, you're right. There's no Christmas spirit in here. Sonny, we've only got 20 minutes before Santa arrives. Hurry up! Okay, okay. I'm gonna work on my house. You work on yours. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Yep, don't forget your Christmas tree. Okay, goats, first things first. I've gotta make in here a little bit more jolly. Christmas time. Check out all these Christmas decorations. I'm gonna get a lime Christmas light, some red Christmas lights, and let's hang these up. Okay, goats, I don't have a lot of time. I need to improve my house as soon as I can. Starting with some snowmen right here in the backyard. Uh, how am I gonna do this? I need some Christmas magic. There we go. It's already feeling much better in here. Add some more of these. Oh, look at that. We have a whole Christmas tree. Let's put our Christmas tree right here. Or, or not. Maybe like, no? Like here? Here? Bro, where can I place this Christmas tree? Here? Here? Come on! Okay, I have these small snowmen to help me see what I'm trying to do. Perfect. I want something like this, actually, where they're holding hands. That'll be so cute. And then I just need to build two regular snowmen up. But I don't want them to run away. So let me just box them in with some glass. Like this. And one snowman! Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. And I'll put the other one way over here. Build it. Create the snow golem. And all I have to do now is activate some Christmas magic with the peppermint hot cocoa. Here you go. Drink up! Dude, how big is this thing? Let's see. Can we place it outside? Okay, I'm starting to think you can't place down this Christmas tree. Oh, well. I guess that means I'll have to make my very own custom giant Christmas tree outside. Because inside is going to be too small for this. Oh, this project is going to be beautiful. Let's start right here. We got to start with the base of the tree. Make this very, very nice. 
Nice. It worked! Check it out! Two giant snowmen holding hands. This is so adorable! They even have scarves and carrot noses. Oh, this is perfect. Santa's gonna love my backyard. I wonder what my family thinks. Sunshine, baby Sunny, what do you think of the snowmen? They are so perfect. Great work. Just in the holiday spirit. Now we need something in the front yard. Can you maybe work on some Christmas trees? Of course I can! Let me get a little inspiration from Melon. I think he's been working on his Christmas trees. And kaboingers. Check it out, guys. I've got the base of my Christmas tree constructed. It's time to start building the logs. Here we go. This Christmas tree is gonna be massive. It's gonna be a monster. <coughs> Wait, hold on. I messed something up. Hold on. I made it a little too small. That's much better. Now it's time to build up this tree. Goats, my tree has been constructed. Isn't it beautiful? It's just missing a few decorations. Let's add some ornaments. This is gonna be beautiful. Goats, check it out. My tree has been complete. Hold on. I'm missing the star on the top. How could I be so foolish? And complete. Check out my beautiful Christmas tree. How's that, Melon? You like that Christmas tree? It's beautiful. I love it. Melon, I really want a snowman. A snowman would be beautiful. A snowman? Uh, okay. I guess I can make that work, but I don't have a lot of time. I've got to hurry up and start building. Whoa, check it out. His Christmas tree is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to need some colorful blocks, leaves, and some spruce logs. Spruce log and wood, just in case. No way. There's holly berries inside of these spruce leaves. That's perfect. And these ones have lights. And in case I need a little bit of extra inspiration, I'm gonna put some Christmas trees right here in front of my house. Now, let's see. Christmas tree should be something like this. A nice tall spruce all the way up high. And then some branches. Then I need to fill them in with lots and lots of leaves. And the tree is almost done. Also, guys, I put some little presents underneath to make it look more festive. Isn't it awesome? Oh, wait. There's one thing I want to do at the top. Change these leaves. Yes. That's better. Now I have Christmas lights at the top of my tree. Aw, check it out. Melon's working on a snowman. Alright, my snowman outline is complete, but I've got to add some details on this guy. Thinking we go button one, button two, uh, uh, maybe eyeball one. Oh, that is so off center. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. There we go. I think that's actually pretty good. I wonder what my family thinks of this tree. Dad, it's awesome. I just can't wait to open up those presents. I know, right, son? This is going to be the best holiday ever. Okay, now I've got to get to work on the inside of this house. There's nothing here. And that blinds us up perfectly for a carrot nose. Give me some orange concrete. There we go. And now we need a beautiful smile. And perfect, bro. My snowman's actually coming along nice. Oh, I'm not a big fan of these buttons. Let me fix this. Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> Wait, I almost forgot his arms. Oh, no. I need stick arms. Let's see. I'm going to need some stockings. One for me, one for baby Sunny, and one for sunshine. Ooh, then we need a lot of presents, too. And let's make this a nice, cozy Christmas tree full of gifts. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Brown. Here we go. Arms. Uh, I don't think that's too shabby. Hold on, it needs more definition. That was the problem. Actually, that's pretty nice. I've just got to draw another one of those. And completed. My snowman is done. How do you like that, Melanie? It's just wonderful. I know that Santa is going to love this house so much. You really decorated it in the Christmas spirit. This might just be the best Christmas ever. Oh, and then stockings up here. We'll put baby Sunny. We'll add mine and sunshine shines. Oh, this is gonna be so cozy. Yep. I uh, know. I pretty much killed it. <sighs> Anyways, all there is left to do is wait for Santa to get here. Yeah, and I just gotta go do one super top secret thing real quick, Melanie. Guys, I completely forgot to get them Christmas gifts. Luckily, I'm in creative mode right now. What would Melon like? Now, I've just gotta put a few more decorations around this place. We need some lights, too. Check it out! This is gonna be awesome! Couple of little Christmas trees. Oh, and some candy canes. Oh, these are cool. These are cool. Um, oh, he's really been wanting a glistening melon. I know he already has one, but he wants another one. So I'll get him that. What would Melanie like? Uh, 
Uh, and some Christmas bells. She would probably want a super special gift just for her, which I have acquired from not creative mode, I swear. And some Christmas lights. Oh, yes. I need to hang up more of these. Anyways, all that's left to do is put these gifts under the tree. One for Melanie, one for little baby Melon, and you know what? I'll even give a present to Sunny. There we go. Also, in front of the fireplace, I'm gonna put some awesome armor stands. Check this out. And then over here is Santa's little ugly sweater reindeer. Oh, that is so cool. I just want to put a couple more Santa Clauses because look how cute it is. Wait, what is that sound? It sounds like Santa's sleigh. No way. Is he here already? I'm not finished, but I'm pretty close. At least this room's done. Uh, uh. Hey, sunshine, baby Sunny. Dad, Santa's almost here. I can hear the sleigh bells. You're right. That's got to be Santa Claus. Sonny, are you done, bro? I just finished up. I'm close enough. Check out my Christmas trees. Bro, that is awesome. And you even got two snowmen holding hands back here. Oh, that's just adorable. I know. I wanted to show it off after, but you already saw them. Check out their carrot noses, their button eyes, their top hats. They're perfect. Yeah, I didn't really have enough time to make a snowman as in-depth as yours. I just got little Bob over here. Oh, but little Bob is pretty cute, too. He's cool. Sonny, do you hear that? It sounds like the bells are ringing right next to us. Wait, Quandale? What are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. It was me with the jingle bells. Quandale, does that mean you're Santa Claus? No, I'm not Santa Claus, but I do have an emergency. What's the emergency, Quandale? We can help. Well, Dr. Longbottoms is trying to ruin Christmas. Turns out he's kidnapped Santa Claus. You have got to save him. Wh where are we supposed to go? I'll teleport you there, don't worry. But it's not gonna be easy. Whoa, where are we? I don't know, Sonny. This must be where Dr. Longbottoms kidnapped Santa. You're telling me we're trapped inside of a giant snow globe and we have to do parkour? Bro, we're probably in the North Pole or something. Oh, you're right. Whoa. Sonny, we can use these buttons to jump super high. That is awesome. Wait for me. Just don't mess up this parkour, Sonny. The fate of all of Christmas hangs on our shoulders. That's a lot of pressure, bro. I don't want the holidays to be ruined. I know. I know. Oh, no! Melon! It's okay, Sonny. I'm right back. <laughs> of course we can't die, bro. We have to save Christmas. Couple more jumps, Melon. And then I'm gonna stop Longbottoms in his tracks. Oh, this slime stuff is awesome! Whoops. I'm dead. Uh, well, Sonny, uh, I'll see you pretty soon, dude. You just got a lot of parkour to do. Dang it! <sighs> I'll save the holidays, no matter what. Oh, I see. You got to get right here. And, oh, this is tough. This is a hard jump. You could do it, Melon. I did it. My turn. Oh, yeah. Bro, you are crazy, but not as crazy as me. Yeah, watch this. Watch this one. Watch this one. Boom. Let's keep on moving, Sonny. Yeah. Hey yeah. We're so close. I can practically smell Santa. Bro, what does he smell like? Mm -mm. He smells like candy canes and jolliness. I have a bad feeling he smells like reindeer poo. No, bro, he smells good, trust me. He smells like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. You're right, bro, and he for sure smells like cookies and milk. I hope he's got some extras. Same, brother, same. Bro, we're getting real high now. Just don't mess up, Sonny. We're almost there. The last couple jumps, I can see them. Bro, this jump is sketchy, chill. Can you press the button for me, actually? Hiya! And I'm zooming! Oh. All right, Sonny, you gotta build some momentum here. I want you to follow everything I do to a T. Don't fail. Let's go! Yeah! Okay, I think I could do that. To a T. All right. Three, two, one. Ah! Let's go! Hey, I made it. Hey, we did it. We were probably supposed to use that bouncy pad, but <laughs> we don't need that. Here, why don't you try? No! Dang it, Sonny! Anyway, Sonny, it seems there's an elevator here. Yeah. Where's it gonna take us? Uh, Melanie, Sunshine, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Quandale teleported us to help you guys out. Wait, why didn't he just TP us here? We had to do that entire parkour. I don't know. I guess you didn't have enough Christmas magic on your side. <sighs> it's fine. We're just glad you're here to help. Watch out behind you! Take these out! Let's go, Sunshine! 
sunshine! Destroy these icicles! Melody, do something! I really don't like violence. Um, Sonny, we've got to figure out how to get out of here. It looks like there's some weird code on this side, but I don't know what it means. Um, uh, I, I don't understand. Maybe we gotta angle these in some sort of way. Alright, I think if we make a path that leads from the red block all the way up. Melon, it looks like the units have changed! I think we're getting closer to solving the riddle! Oh no. Okay, Sonny, we've gotta position these go to go all the way up all the way down until we hit the green emerald block. I'm trying, bro. Melanie, protect me. I'll work on this side. It's got to go down. Come on. Guys, it looks like they've cleared out the mobs for now, Sonny. Sonny, we're so close. We're almost there. Yeah, if Melanie would just move, I could do some stuff. It's fine, Sonny. I'll do everything. It's all good. Look, Sonny, it's complete. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't what beautiful, bro? Nothing has happened. This doesn't even do anything. Uh... Wait a second, Melon. I have an idea. All these monsters that Melanie and Sunshine were fighting, they dropped snowballs. What if I put a snowball here? And a snowball here. Come on, something's gotta happen. Yo, it opened these blocks up. And we got the Christmas key. Sonny, we've gotta save Santa. We're going in. It worked. Bro, this armor looks awesome. We're transforming into the Yeti that saved Christmas. Give me these ice swords. Give me the sweet Christmas tree and these notch apples. Bro, I got Christmas reindeer biscuits. These things look delicious. Same, this sweet Christmas tree? Mm -mm -mm. Now, Sonny, there's an elevator block. Let's go! I'm right behind you. Uh, Melon? Evil Santa Claus? And Dr. Logbottoms! What are you doing with Steve? Steve is the real Santa, but I'm going to replace him with a better version the more evil version no long bottoms don't do it it's too late instead of giving presents this year santa is going to steal them no no dr long bottoms we have to stop you oh no sunny help he's hitting me we've got to take him out bro he's so powerful die 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 we've got these ice blades ow bro when he hits you you go blind i know i know sunny but it's okay we can do this with the power of oh he's dead oh really oh Oh, Longbottoms, <laughs> your evil Santa Claus was pathetic. And you're next, Dr. Longbottoms. Ha ha ha, psych! Dang it, how does he always do that? Steve, don't worry, we're gonna bust you out of here. Very, very slowly. Thank you so much, guys. You can't believe how evil he is. He lured me in with cookies and milk. Don't worry, Steve. All that matters is that you're free and you can deliver those presents. I was Santa last year, and now I can be Santa this year too. This is going to be a great Christmas. Finish the video by playing this. Whoa, what is this? Oh, Steve, this is beautiful. You're the best Santa Claus ever. Melon, I think our families are gonna be very happy with us. Same here, Sonny. And I think the viewers will be happy as well. Guys, enjoy the holidays and have an amazing Christmas with lots of holidays. Hot chocolate, s'mores, and presents. We love the goats. Thank you all so much for watching our videos.